Welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're making an everything cheddar pastry twist. Oh my! It is known in France as a tart soleil. Said it with the finest French accent, of course, which means it's a sun tart. Remember what I did with the cinnamon star bread and it had those lovely twists and it was beautiful? That's exactly what this is. But this is going to have, I think it's going to have 32 different rays of sun coming out of it with cheddar cheese, flaky pastry crust, and everything seasoning. I know. And I have to make it because the sun'll come out with this twist. Bet your pastry tastin' it's great with cheddar. You'll want more, so much more. First, you make the pastry, which is like a rough puff pastry, which is basically, I think of it as the cheater's version of puff pastry. It'll still be flaky, but you don't have to go through all those folds and rounds that you may know about or have seen. So we'll do that first, and then we make the filling, and then we bake it. Two and a half cups pastry flour or all-purpose flour, which this is. Two tablespoons cheese powder. I happen to have this, but if you don't, if you happen to have some macaroni and cheese sitting around, you can use that little packet and it will have the same effect. Half teaspoon salt. Half teaspoon baking powder. Mix together. Twelve tablespoons unsalted cold butter going in. We're going to mix this together into large pea-sized clumps. Use my pastry cutter to help us along here. But again, you want to leave pea-sized clumps. How this pastry is going to be flaky by leaving the bigger clumps of the butter. When it goes into the oven, the butter will start to melt and create steam, which is going to make those layers and kind of pushes the pieces of flour away from it. So just imagine that happening throughout the pastry and you're going to have a flaky pastry. Six tablespoons to half a cup of ice water. Add it in. You just want it to come together. You don't want to work it too much. Just come together. Split your dough in half best you possibly can. If you have a scale, use it. If not, just guesstimate. It does not have to be perfect. Into the fridge for 30 minutes. Let that butter get nice and cold again, and then we'll make it. Let's make the filling. And don't forget, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Stir together quarter cup cheese powder. One tablespoon everything seasoning. One tablespoon melted butter, unsalted. One tablespoon water. Stir together and set aside. We're going to roll each disc to 11 inch circle. These are straight from the refrigerator. They are very cold, as they should be. If you have a 10 inch plate, just go ahead and place it on top of it. I don't, so I'm going to be using my pastry mat to figure out where 10 inches is, and I'm going to be cutting around it from there. Okay, once you get it over to your parchment paper, feel free to use flour to help you out too. Go ahead and put all of the filling down that we made. We're going to spread that out within a half inch of the edge. Top with half a cup shredded cheddar cheese. 
can be sure to get within, leave the half inch perimeter. Brush your perimeter with the egg wash. This is one large egg and one tablespoon of butter. Place some flour down just because the dough is a little bit warmer and it may start melting a little bit, the butter that is. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. Get some flour on your rolling pin as well. Again, we're looking for this 11 inches and then we'll cut it down to the 10. Okay, I've got it so I can cut 10, which is right here. And we're just gonna go slow and steady like we did last time. Place it down. Remember the egg wash is there, so let's press that down too. Because I need to cut, I'm gonna move this over to my pastry cutter. Okay. okay. You want to put a two and a half to three inch round cutter in the center just to kind of gauge things. This is a little bit over three, it's about three and a half, so I'm just gonna put this in the center to gauge it, and I'm gonna cut further into it. I'm just gonna make a mark okay, so I can see that. And I'm gonna go a little bit farther in like there. I'm just gonna do this for myself. Take each strip and twist in the same direction. Don't forget that egg wash is there at the end. Pinch that together. Brush with the egg wash. Sprinkle with a tablespoon of your remaining everything bagel seasoning. Bake for 35 to 40 minutes until it's an even golden brown. Mm. It is looking good, evenly golden brown, and it smells so good in my house. Yum. Go ahead and move it over to a cooling rack. Let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes. That's an eternity. This thing looks delicious. It smells delicious. Who are we kidding? 10 to 15 minutes? Ha ha ha. That is so not happening. But move it over anyway and let it cool best you can. Oh my. I'm just going to move it over on the parchment paper. There we go. Let that cool. Inspection time. This looks so good and smells like cheddar cheese and everything seasoning together with like a flaky pastry. Yeah, heaven. Let's try it. I can see the cheese already and the outer layer is nice and crisp as it should be. Let's give it a go. Mmm, -mm -mm. that is delicious. You might want to hide it. It's really that good. You get the saltiness and savoriness from the everything seasoning. And then that cheddar cheese comes crystal clear through with that extra cheese powder. It is cheese heaven in a flaky pastry. Mm -mm. If I can do this, you can too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out on Instagram at Jen's Daily Dish and more. I'm going for more.